Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my Subnautica tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on collecting the free prawn suit fragments and then continuing to explore the Aurora for fragments and the drive core. Uh, there are some nice things to be had on the Aurora, so I'm going to try and show getting all of them. And my pocket's getting a little full, but that's alright because I need to keep eating and drinking. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Um, and maybe heal. Right, okay, so the canteen was where we was in the last episode, got a few items. Now the prawn suit in this room, three bits of the prawn suit, the fragments we need. One can be got from up here. And let's go back over these crates. Another one can be got from here. And the last Oh no, there's four pieces actually. Correction, sorry. So there's four. Oh, there's the other one over there. So let's go get that. And then the last piece we're going to need the fire extinguisher for. So I don't think I'll be able to get close enough without getting burned. Oh no, I can. There, yeah, cool. Oops, we got the prawn suit. Which we will be uh, going over, building one, in a future episode. And it will no doubt be a good one. Right, so carrying on up here, past the canteen. I wanted to do that at the beginning, though, getting the prawn suit for anyone who has difficulty in finding it. So, continuing up here. Opposite was this storeroom. Some more items. I'm glad I have plenty of space. Yeah, look, there's loads. Grab it all. Why not? Oh, another water over there. Oh, come on. Surely I should have got it then. Maybe it doesn't want me to have it. Yeah, I've got it. There we go. Any reason I'm grabbing all of that is because my food is fine, but the water I am going to probably need. So, carrying up here, loads and loads of items. I think I've got plenty of food, so I'm going to leave the food for now. And. To the left, we got the captain's quarters at the end there. Ah, now here's something important, the bed. So we can sleep through the nights in the future. Wouldn't that be cool? There we go. So we got a bed. No more having to wait through a long night. I don't think there's anything else. Ah, maybe a bit of water. Nice. And I think that's... Oh, we got ourselves a carry all. So let's just have a look at that. Oh, so you can just place it down. Oh, I don't think I've got enough. I've got a little space. If my space, if I run out of space, then I will drop that. But there we are. You can get a carry all or two. Yeah, so it acts as a little storage. Right, Captain's Quarters. The code is 2679. There we go. Uh, I've got it previously, and I've wrote, written it down the last time I did this. Oh yeah, I want to pick this up. A miniature of the Aurora. Get some data. Which gives us the blueprints of the Neptune escape rocket, which is how we're going to escape the planet. There we 
There we go. Right. Oh, what is that? Something else to scan. We'll get all the blueprints we can. All shelves. New blueprint acquired. Oh, and a basic double bed. For those of you that like a bit more space. And PDA. Captain's log. Uh, more posters. Are any of you that like collecting the posters? Right, okay, that's that. And let's have a quick look down there. Done the beds. Oh, another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Cabin 7, I'm going to save my fire extinguisher. Worry about going in there. Always love getting batteries. Uh, another med kit. How much room have I got left? Yeah, I've got room. I can always drop it. Let's drink some more water. Right, okay, that's everything from in there. Not going to worry about putting them fires out. Right, now heading on, I want to continue on now towards drive core. So back through the prawn suit room. That another water that I missed, yeah. Look at that. Damn blind. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use if I wanna go that way I'll have to use the fire extinguisher and I don't. I'm gonna save that. Right, so heading back now, uh, from the direction we had entered in. Might need my knife in actual fact, so let's get the knife ready. For any more than bleeding bleeders. Ah, right, let's, before I go to the drive core down there, let's go pick up a Seamoth um, upgrade. So we need to repair. I'll put the repair tool in which slot? Number two. In here, if you didn't manage to find the Seamoth fragments, well, you can get some in here. I think enough to, in fact, do it. Right, first of all, though, there is the Seamoth Depth Module Mark 1. Nice little present that we'll grab that. And here are the fragments for the Seamoth. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. And that's everything from this room. Right now on to the drive core. Which is this way. Battery. Internal damage. 
damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Um, let's drink another bottle. In fact, that carry all, I really don't need it. Let's drop that. Drop it right over the leading. Let's try that again. Drop it here. Yeah, it's just a little slot container. There we go. I prefer to have batteries. Okay, we're going to need the fire extinguisher. Right, so <clears throat> now in this room is where we've got to repair the drive core. Before that though, let's grab ourselves another little bonus, which is Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Which is the Cyclops engine efficiency module, and you'll definitely need that for your Cyclops. Alright, oh, right, so for us to scan. Drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by thick metal shell which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. which. I've got so many batteries now, I think we can say it's fully going to be fully charged. Right, so repair tool. Is that my repair tool? Yeah. Right, so now we're going to go and repair these breaches. You can see little holes like that, and we just use the repair tool on them. Right, that's one. Ten more to go. Repaired. And this would be so nice because I won't need, I'll be able to wear the rebreather in the future and take off the radiation helmet. Ah right, now there are bleeders in there, so we're going to need the dagger. Oh, I can't jump over that, let's go around. So yeah, there are there are bleeders in there. All right, let's try and find these breaches. There we go. There's one. Right, eight more. Further breaches detected. Oh, there's another one. Containment breach repaired. Seven Further more. Breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Six Further more. Oh, and another. <sighs> You're definitely going to need your dagger. You can see that. Right. Oh. Good job I've got loads of them first aid kits. No, he's still he's still swimming around. I need to take care of him. Right, is that one dead? No, there's still another one. Ah. 
and yet another one. Alright, okay. Five more. Containment breach repaired. Four more. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Two more. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. And one Further more. Breaches detected. Over this side. Ah, oh, there it is. Get some oxygen. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Right, cool. So we fixed the drive core, the radiation leak. And now the surrounding areas will slowly remove the radiation. I don't know if it's removed straight away. I think it's over time, so we'll give it a little time. Uh, in which I can build a start building a couple of moon pools but I've got a little time left in this episode so let's carry on see if there's anything I missed we got the best stuff though that you can be sure of i.e. the Seamorph upgrade and the Cyclops engine efficiency we got the good stuff I don't think I really have missed anything. This maybe um, food, maybe the other battery, but that's okay. I can make them myself. No, nothing else down there. Right, let's go out. So I'm going to be able to now use the rebreather all the time rather than needing to have um, this radiation helmet on. See if we can get out of here in one piece without dying. Well, I should die. I've got loads of repair. Uh, first aid kits. Oh, oh well. I suppose it's a shortcut back to the sub. The seam off. So we got the prawn suit from there, which is cool. 
because that's a great way to explore and get the big nodes and there's the timer okay well the drive course fixed radiation leak will slowly remove it the radiation will slowly dissipate away from this area and next I'm gonna think I'm gonna focus on building a couple of moon pools at my base oh that's um, escape pod 4 if any of you are having difficulty finding it it's near the front of the Aurora and 774 meters away from your life pod where you start okay well I'm going to end it there wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye <laughs>